All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we are here, the Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Hunter Rank Doubles video, and today I am here with Tinted Lens Sigilift. Typically, Sigilift is run as more of like a Tailwind support with Trick Room and stuff like that, but it gets Tinted Lens, which is lit, because if you don't know what Tinted Lens does, is it removes one layer of resistance from your opponent. So say I hit like a Metagross with Air Slash, right, which it would normally be resisted. It'll be neutral, which is super lit. I like that. It's my favorite ability, or one of anyway. It's, it's up there. It's very high up there. I like uh, Noctowl as well. Not enough good mons get it, right? But like, I wish like this Sigil I got it. That'd be super lit, right? But it doesn't. Instead, I'm using Sigilith, which is probably one of the better mons to get it. So hopefully it can go well. We'll see. Anyway, this is the team, and I will be back into the first battle. Okay, I was about to be like really depressed because they was fighting a uh, a Kyogre, but instead of Torn Ogre, it's a slightly more respectable, slightly cooler team. Okay, okay, Rillaboom Sigilith lead has no downsides, bro. It has no downsides. You know what's crazy? You know what's actually wild? I didn't put a Psychic Stab on Sigilith. I'm, I'm aware there's like it doesn't have both of its stabs, it's whatever. I didn't put Psychic on Sigilith because there's not many things in the meta that are weak to Psychic that are not weak to Flying, right? There's Venusaur, there's Moongus, there's like Urshifu Dark is immune to Psychic. It, it, there, there was not much that I felt would be useful for like a Psychic type move, right? And then I run into the Gonadel game one. That's crazy. That's wild, bro. Okay. All right. All righty, bro. Okay. Um, I do think my lead is pretty good. They do have that Lele, obviously, which is a little bit scary. Um, but I should be slower than that anyway to change the terrain. I'm gonna bring, I think, Zacian in here is pretty good overall. I think so. And do I want the Mole Trace or the Swampert? Uh, Swampert loses the Cortana immediately, right? Mole Trace, uh, they don't have the best ways to handle Mole Trace. So I think I'm gonna go with Mole Trace. I'm gonna regret not having Clefairy because they're just gonna lead Urshifu and punch my, my Sigilith very hard, but A. Hey. It happens to the best of us, bro, and I am the best, so I would know. Okay, your trainer card's boring and you suck. You're trash, but you have the Crown Puncher Pokédex, but I do not. Therefore, I am worse than you, bro. That's how it works, bro. The, the higher your Pokédex, the better you are at the game. Cortana Whimsicott! Whoa! Okay, hold on a minute. Hang on a minute, bro. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Now, what are you going to do when you don't get Tailwind up? What are you going to do? I got to know. What are you going to do when you don't get Tailwind up? Because it's not going to happen, bro. You're not getting Tailwind up. I don't care. You're not. It's not happening, bro. Screw you. Let's go. Dynamax Sigilift. Let's go. Turn one. Turn one Dynamax. Okay. Oh, shoot. They Dynamax the Cartana. Everybody. Why do they have it in Ultra Ball? Cartana is either 100% catch rate or like 1% without a, without a Beast Ball. So why of all balls you chose Ultra Ball? The most boring of Pokeballs. Not actually, but one of, right? Like, why would you... Why is that your choice of Pokeball, bro? I don't understand that one. Anyway. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what Sigilith can do here. They're probably going to hit it with the crazy... Does it get knockoff still? I know it gets knockoff at some point. Does it get knockoff in this game? I think so, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure, actually. It might be a tutor move. Either way, hopefully Sigilith can do the work right now. Hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, please don't end my life. I would like to kill the Whimsicott. Thank you. Goodbye, Whimsicott. No Tailwind today. Ha ha, you tried it. Ha ha. Oh shoot! They also airstream my boom! <laughs> I'm alive. Okay. Notice how I'm alive, bro. That means next turn, you're dead. That's what that means, just so you know. Goodbye, Whimsicott. I was kind of not expecting the Cartana to max TBH. Um, so I don't have a fire type move on my team, right? Because I didn't think I would need one. I thought it'd be good to go. Because in my mind, I only ever have fire moves for like Ferrothorn. And I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. I'm not going to see a Ferrothorn. And now here we are fighting offensive Ferrothorn, which is very scary. And I do not have a fire type move now. And uh, it's a little bit harder to kill than a Ferrothorn in certain scenarios. Maybe Zacian can do it, but I'm slower now. Oh shoot, that's not that's a Nagana though, bro. Let's go. I'm about to bop this thing. Hold on. Uh shoot, 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 shoot. Heck, okay. I'm gonna protect boom. I'm gonna protect boom and I'm gonna go for the craziest hailstorm. Or maybe I should just focus the Cartana. I'm gonna focus the Cartana with Airstream. Cause if they don't airstream this turn, then I outspeed them next turn. I already outspeed Nagana though. 
I'm assuming the god though might try and claim the kill. They airship again, that sucks. Okay, so they, yeah, okay, so the Nagana that was probably trying to clean the Riddle Boom kill, or they're going the Sludge Wave. Huh. That could be bad. Oh, shoot! That's basically Sludge Wave, but fire. Miss. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Okay. Die. I lost the battle. <laughs> Never mind! God dang! Okay. I didn't think they were Sash. Okay. I thought they would be like AV with special defense bulk and all that and they like go crazy on me. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That Laganadel outsped me. Oh, only because it's the plus one. Which means I'm good to go now. I'm good to I win. I won. I won. You lost. I won. You lost. I won. Let's go, gamers. Hold on a minute. Alright. I'm going to need the craziest move ever right now, Rillaboom. I'm going to need this right now. Right this second, bro. Right this second, okay? Okay, uh, I'd actually rather hail some into the KO. I'd rather do that. I might- Oh, they withdrew Cartana! If this is Kyogre, bro, that's tough! If this is Kyogre, bro... Oh my god, it's dead! You killed your Kyogre! You sacked it from full! And the weather's gone! And you lost- you, well, why- wait, 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 okay, no, no, no. I have to know. What benefit is there to swapping out Cartana there? Where, what do you gain by doing that? It does not get Grassy Glide. It does not do anything. Sigilith just, like, 4 0 this dude borderline. Did it? It did! Look at this damage, by the way. That's crazy. That's, that's actually insane damage, bro. I know Nagandel's not very bulky, but... Why did they preserve Kartama? What did that get them? They had one health. I really don't know. That one doesn't make sense to me. They lost all their speed and swapped it into pro what I would say was a very obvious Grassy Glide. Because, like, they're a, they're an Ultra Beast. So, they either sacked Kyogre there, which is what happened, or they got their Beast Boost by killing something. Or they died to, they died to Grassy Glide and got a free switch into Kyogre. Like, no matter what there, any other option was better. That's weird, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> the battle was canceled? Yeah, you're darn right, bro. The, the power of Sigilith is going crazy right now, bro. It's insane. All right, that's super lit. That's super, super lit. Anyway, I will be back and get into the next battle. Oh, there's the generic Torn Ogre garbage with no skill involved, bro. I found it. In case anybody was wondering, I found it. We're good. The last guy, not Torn Ogre. This guy, Torn Ogre. All right, let's go. Um, how do I beat that? I think I just do what I was gonna do last time and go with the Rilla Boom lead. Rilla Boom Sigil lead. I, it worked out, but that's Swamper. Hold on, back up. I don't want to lose. <laughs> I love Swamper, but in this the, against this team in particular, I don't think it would do very well. Uh, however, it also seems pretty good. If, barring the Kartana, Swamper does seem pretty good. I kind of think Clefairy could be have a place here as well. Um, I do think I need Swamper though to help uh, deal with the Reggie Eliki. Um, now do I want Moltres? Do I want Zacian? I think Zacian... Eh, I mean... Eh. Uh, it's not bad, right? It's not bad, but against their very, 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 very top tier, god tier speed control, it's not great either. I might have... I might go Clefairy as like a later game, uh... Later game, like, uh, support option. Because what if they... What if turn one, they prioritize Riddle Boom and kill it, right? Then I can go Clefairy, and then Sigilith can just sweep, so... That's the goal right now. That's the goal. Because Sigilith also naturally outspeeds Kyogre, which is lit. Um, so if they don't get Tailwind, I'm good to go. Alright, where do they go? Torn Eliki. Torn Eliki. Oh, huh, shoot. Okay. I didn't expect that one. TBH. Did not expect that. Um, I'm going to swap out, and I'm going to go to Swampert. <laughs> I'm going to go into Swampert for sure. Right now, on the Sigilith slot, I'm going to go for the... Take out into Torn. But I can't kill it. So it's gonna get Tailwind up and then sweep. But I have a Rilla Boom on the field. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna go into Swampert now. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because if they max, then that's lit, right? I don't think they're gonna max, but they could very well max. You never know. They could Dynamax right now, bro. They could Dynamax the LQ right now and go for the crazy max lightning into my thing. Let's go, bro. That's a lure ball. Is that Tornadus, bro? Because Eliki's not very lure you know? That's Tornadus. Oh, great. 
<laughs> Pokemon. Uh, okay. So they're one of those Tornogre players where if they see the existence of Fake Out on the other side of the field, all they know how to do is instantaneously Dynamax, bro. They don't even have Kyogre on the field right now. There's no Kyogre in sight. There's no Kyogre on the field. My Rillaboom is dead. My Rillaboom is dead. If only I was AV, but I'm not AV anymore. Therefore, I am O Code. Okay. Now the game is interesting. Now the game is interesting, or should I say, very uninteresting. Because all we're doing is fighting Dynamax, Tornadus, plus Kyogre, plus Eloki, plus Gartana. Yay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, I could go Sigilyph and potentially just throw the entire game away right now. Or... I could go Clefairy. And then Max Swampert. And then probably win the game. Because the Eloki is forced to switch right now. But yeah, they, they would kill Sigilyph anyway, so there's no point in doing that. So I'm gonna do this. I mean, I could have managed it with like Dynamax or with, with, with like Protect or whatever and like Dynamax and Swampert, but nah. Nah, nah, nah. If they have like Grass Knot, I'm mad. Just so everyone's aware, I'm mad. Like angry. Uh, okay. I'm gonna protect the Fairy because they're obviously gonna like Airstream Swampert and like. Like, uh, like, like Volt Switch into. into whatchamacallit. So I'm gonna kill Eloki right now, so uh. Do I have to max? I kind of do. I, I have to max for sure. Um, I wonder if I get two AKO'd. Hmm. I'm not that scared of Eloki, to be honest. I think this turn they're just going to Volt Switch into... Actually, they hard swap. I could have quaked that... Ooh. But I protected Clefairy, so we're safer. We're safer than I could have been. Which I, Actually, we're in an okay spot right now. Um, unfortunately, the Torn does outspeed Kartana. Actually, just in general, I'm pretty sure. Uh, especially with the, uh, the plus one speed. So, this might be a problem right now. This might be an issue. Especially with Rillaboom dead. I didn't expect, like, you, I don't usually expect the Tornadus to Dynamax. Unless they have Kyogre right ne like, next to them, right? Because if they had Kyogre plus, uh, plus Tornadus, I would have probably faked out Kyogre, maybe? I'm not really sure, to be honest. They did target Clefairy. Hey, yo. <laughs> You're a little bit fearful there, aren't you, buddy? You're a little bit scared. You're a little bit of a coward. God, this team... The, the team they're using has literally the most ungodly speed control I've ever seen in my life, bro. They have Electro Web. They have Tailwind. They have Max Airstream. They have... Uh... Is that it? That might be it, but they have a lot of it. Okay? The Eloki could paralyze you. If it's so wished to, bro, it could definitely parry you. Alright, so what do I do here? What do I do here? Um... If I had to guess, I think they might protect Tornadus and try and kill Clefairy with a smart strike. I'm gonna follow me anyway. I don't think one airstream would KO me. And I'm gonna Quake. The Kartana. If they go Kyogre, then that's fantastic. If they don't, then whatever. That's exactly what they did. Let's go. I could have uh, gone for the double protect the Clefairy, but I didn't trust it, and they could go for Leaf Blade anyway, because there is Terrain Boost, so. They just go for it anyway. No, they went for Smart. I, I could have protected there. I could have done it. I could have gone for it, but I'm still alive, because I'm bold nature. Garbage. Eat this Max Quake. Eat that damage, my brain's bigger than yours. Massive IQ, look at the damage into your, your garbage can, bro. Your Pokemon. Let's go. Um, okay, so. So, um, fortunately they lose Dynamax here and they have to re rely on landing a Hurricane. Um, but if they land that Hurricane, the entire battle's over. Um, literally, I lose immediately. Oh no. Um, I do lose, I'm pretty sure, like, instantaneously, bro. Mm. Would it be smarter to protect Swampert into Icy Wind Clefairy, or with Clefairy? Because I died with Leaf Blade for sure. And they definitely target Swampert. Tornadus probably hurricanes Clefairy. I think this play is really risky. But I also think it's the best play I could possibly make right now. What else could happen? If I follow me, I guess it would be better if I just killed. Because I lose to Kyogre anyway, right? 
no matter what, I lose to Kyogre. So, I'm going to max guard Icy Wind. Okay. I Icy Winded, right? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I certainly hope so. If they, if they Hurricane anyway, so be it, right? Yeah, they, they did. Oh, wait, they Tailwind did. Oh, shoot. Did you Leaf Blade? Or did you Smart Strike? Let's go. All right. Let's go. Okay, well, now we are in a potential, peculiar, interesting scenario where a win might be possible if I get lucky. Oh, shoot, that did nothing. Okay, I for some reason thought it might kill Kartana based on their, like, paper thin spit F. Didn't happen. Um, Kartana Kyogre, I can't beat that. And, and Tailwind, not a chance. Nope, that's game. That's game, bro. That's game because you're so skilled. Oh, I have Kyogre. Kyogre button. Yay, Kyogre. Kyogre button. Let's go, Kyogre. Yeah, okay, bro. That's all you know how to do is, oh, Kyogre button, go. Okay, so, Alaki outspeeds Kartana, meaning no matter what, Clefairy dies first, and they just kill him with Leaf Blade, and Sigilith can't do anything because there's Alaki, and... No, think of Kyogre, hold on a minute. Hang on a second, bro, hang on a minute. That means the Kartana outspeeds the Kyogre, which is actually good for me. Um, but Swampert definitely it's O-Code anyway. It doesn't matter, never mind. Uh, yeah, Kyogre just owes everything on my team now because it's a broken Pokemon. It's, it's so skill-based, you know? Very, very skilled. Very, 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 very skilled. Very, very skilled, bro. Very, very skilled. Uh, 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 okay. I'm exhausted of Kyogre battles, bro. I'm so tired of seeing them. I'm so tired of this. Like, oh, yes, I fought hard all for this, bro. Okay. Yay, Kyogre. You are skilled. Yeah. It's all my own fault, too, because I let the Riddle Boom go down. What? I guess it doesn't matter. I still get Oko no matter what, right? Like, for sure. I, I did that for the Kartana's move, but I guess they didn't go for it. Yeah, yeah. This is Pokey. I lived it! Let's go Friend Guard! Why did I live that? I haven't, I've had my Dynamax one get Oko before. From full. Why did I live that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait a second. Uh, can I win this now? I didn't expect to live. I'm, th I'm processing right now. Do I win? Do can I win? I don't, I'm not gonna say do I, but can I? Can I win? So odds are, the Eleki either protects or it kills Sigilith. If I had to guess, it would probably try to kill Sigilith. So if I protect Sigilith, this turn, and then I... I have to dodge an Origin Pulse, I think. Even though I, I might... I, I think I would live in Origin Pulse right now. I think so. So I have to kill Eloki. But would they protect it? Or would I kill... Should I kill Kyogre instead? Kartana Eloki? I can't beat that. I'm gonna hit Kyogre. I'm gonna hit Kyogre here. Let's go! Thought so. Got him. Okay, cool. Um, in hindsight, now I could have attacked with Sigilith, but whatever. Whatever. I don't think I win. Wait, you what? You what? Do they not have Orange Pulse? I'm not killing Kyogre this turn. Don't kill. Okay. I'm not touching it. I am double protecting with Sigilyph, and I'm killing the Eloki. I did not think they only had Water Pulse. Why would you not Origin Pulse? If you have it, you're stupid. If you have the move and you didn't go for it just now, I'm actually angry. No, I needed that so badly. I needed it so bad. I needed that. I, I, that was, that was a necessity. I had to get that just now, and I did not get that. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I lose the Katana now. Are you actually- you have Ice Beam as well, but you don't have Origin Pulse? You- you froze me, because you're skilled. Okay. There goes- Energy to, oh, You wanted to- okay, okay, no. Torn Ogre players don't deserve freezes on their Ice Beams. They don't deserve it. Their team's already so broken. What do you mean, bro? Not a chance. Torn Ogre players don't deserve Ice Beam freezes. Whatever, bro. Okay, 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 okay. All right, bro. You're cool. All right. Anyway, 
Is that thunder? Or like, what was that? That was loud. It's a loud noise, bro. Anyway, uh, I will be back again to the third and final battle. Okay, now we are fighting. Uh, it's, it's, it's a team. It's, it's definitely a team. It is for sure, most they're most certainly a team. Um, Zacian is pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, but Sigilith can kind of body it. Um, okay, 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 okay. How do I want to do this? I think Clefairy. Sigilith is just my safest lead possible. Like this, just this right here. I'm gonna go. I think Swampert is Swampert is Jesus Christ Swampert. Is my Swampert is my go-to answer for Thunderous, Lando, and Rotom Heat, and they have all three of them. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Alright, and my last is gonna be their Moltres or Zacian. Um based on the fact they have Zacian, they have also Grim Snarl, and they could Dynamax that thing there. They could Dynamax the Lando. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Zacian, bro. I'm gonna go Zacian. I'm gonna go Zacian. Okay. Let's see. Can we win? Yo, I have not used my Moltres at all. <laughs> I really want to. I, I, I love the Mon. I just I haven't used it. Alright. Let's see. Let's see, bro. I just have to run into the, uh, the Calyrex, bro. The, the, the Calyrex Shadow Rider. What you got? Thunderous Rillaboom. Thunderous Rillaboom. Thunderous Rillaboom. That is literally horrible. But guess what? I can beat that with the power of Double Protect. Double protect, bro. Double protect. Let's go. Got him. Screw your fake out, degenerate. I kind of wanted to max guard my uh, Sitch Lift just now. But I have a feeling if they max lightning anyway, they're just going to change their own terrain. And that would suck for their own Red Boom. So I'm here for it, bro. I'm here for it. Go for it. Be my guest. Be my guest. All right, and you Dynamax the Thunderous as expected, as all players do. Turn one, you Dynamax your Thunderous. Good, good, good skill, bro. Good skill. Good, nice skill. Love your skill. Respectable skill. Um, so now we have an issue if I have to outspeed their Thunderous to win the game, I think, and I might lose the game anyway because you know I don't outspeed it naturally. Um, pain. Aha! Uh -huh, I bet you didn't expect the Super Protect. Oh, what? you didn't fake out. You. Gr The grassy glided a sigilith. The grassy glided a sigilith. Was it the break of sash? Were you scared of a focus sash? Why did you just fake a Clefairy? They didn't airstream. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. I'm not really scared of Rillaboom, but they could also knock off my Clefairy, which would be really annoying. Um, the rest of my team... Is this their only answer to Swampert? Kinda. Kinda, and they have Zacian in the back as well, noted. I'm gonna kill the... Rillaboom, the Thunders might be AV anyway. And if they Airstream, there's no, there, it kinda ruins the point. Why would they grassy glide there? That's so, I, 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 I get it if it broke Sash, right? But why wouldn't you just fake out in that scenario? Would that not be safer? I just don't get the grassy glide. Like, of all the, the plays you could have made, that one doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I could just be stupid. I probably am stupid. I usually am, you know? Alright. Hey, yo, Clefairy's over here. Hit me, please. Hit my Clefairy, bro. What do you do? You airstream. Wow, you did have brain cell back there. Okay. That was so toxic. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just vibing right now, bro. Uh, you are, uh, if you are my opponent, uh, no offense. <laughs> Airstream the the boom. Let's go. Oh, code. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that thing you grassy glided, bro. Bet you didn't expect this one. <laughs> um, hmm. Interesting, bro. So... I lose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I lose. Cause like, if I follow me, they outspeed their own Zacian though. <laughs> uh, but they, based on the damage they just did, they won't kill me with their move. Which means I then get to go for the airstream into Zacian. Right? 
right? Because they they airstream, so now they outspeed their Zacian, right? And then I live the hit, right? Unless I get a high roll. Hey, <laughs> y'all ready for this damage? Y'all have never seen tinted lens before. Hold on a minute. I almost ran a heat wave, and then I chose not to because I think I, I thought I didn't need it. But here we are now, and I kind of wish I had it. But you know. Um, also, the Thunder Stormer has Dynamax, and that means I have to go to Swampert and Max Guard my my bro, my Sigilyph, and do crazy things afterward, bro. I might just win the game. They're a plus one speed Zacian, that's crazy. Look at the damage, bro! They weren't ready for the damage, bro. If I had Heat Wave, would have killed, probably. That's crazy. Probably would not have, actually. Um, okay. So now I go into Swampert. And I protect Sigilyph, and I think my goal is to kill Thunderous or Zacian. Probably Zacian, because it can be really annoying. But they're probably going to fly with Thunderous and Swampert. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit Zacian. They could wild charge or they could fly here. Either way, I think this is the play. Mm, no, if they wild charge, it's actually like, I think it's worse for me. I'm hoping they fly. Maybe I should have hit. Ugh. Uh, they could also just hard swap into like Lando and ruin my entire day because they could just be like Intimidate Scum. They're probably just gonna hard swap Lando actually. No, they did not. Hold on a minute. Hang on. Did you fly or did you wild charge? Oh no! Please fly. Why? Okay. That is unfort, TBH. That is unfortunate. Um, they now know what I'm going for, so now I'm going to switch up my moves so they don't predict me. They're probably going to predict me. Um, I, I'm, I think I might double protect Sigilyph because it dies no matter what. And I'm going to go for the Ice Punch into the Thunderous. I'm going to go for that, and I'm going to go for the double protect because no matter what, I think I just die here. I almost airstreamed the Thunderous earlier when I had Hailstorm. <laughs> I almost did that. I would have been really stupid. Okay. I mean, I am really stupid, but I would have been extra stupid right then, you know? Like, extra bad at the game. Which is like saying a lot. Like, a, like a lot, a lot, you know? Protect. I never get the doubles when I need them the most. Goodbye, Sigilith. You tried. You served well. Thank you, my friend. Goodbye. Okay. So now it's Operation How Do We Beat That Dog. Because now I'm going to Ice Punch your, your ugly Sacred Sword. You're doing like 40%, bro. That's right. Oh, shoot! Berry Range. We'd love to see that. Okay, cool. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If the last is Rotom Heat, I'm vibing. If the last is not Rotom Heat, I'm like sad. That didn't even kill. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Kind of was hoping you would kill, to be honest. I think they're going to fly into Swampert, and they're going to target my Zacian with their Zacian. So I'm gonna... They could also protect the Zacian this turn, and then they would gain a lot out of it. So I kind of... Hmm. Hmm. I think they would probably fly and protect Zacian here. So I think I... I'm gonna high horsepower Zacian. I could double the Zacian, or I could protect my Zacian. There's no guarantee they protect here. But I think they're going to. They would either protect fly or protect wild charge. So I'm gonna do this regardless. They didn't protect it. I live that. Did you target? Did you double swamper? Did you? That's crazy. Oh wow, I did not expect that one. Why does it always happen to me, bro? Every time I protect, they double. What? Like, there's a Zacian on your screen. Your last has to be Rotom Heat. It has to be. There's no way it's not Rotom Heat. Not a chance, bro. It has to be Rotom Heat. Uh, pain, bro. I really did not expect that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was your Thunderous for what? Rotom Heat. Lando. That's fair. That's fair. Um. If I protected Swampert there and then killed... God, they really doubled Swampert. That's crazy. This always happens to me, though. Every single time. Um, don't you love how Zacian can nearly O-code another Zacian? That's crazy. Pokemon's great. Uh, they made a great mod in this game. 
generation. Uh, if I protected Swampert there, I would have probably won the entire game. So, unfortunate. If I protected Swampert and killed, like, uh... Ah, eh, maybe not. Probably not, actually. I was thinking if I protected Swampert and then killed their Zacian, then I could have probably won, but maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, no, if I killed Thunderous. If I killed Thunderous, because then they couldn't Earthquake. Yeah, my, my, my goal would have been to kill Thunderous then. I should have killed Thunderous. I expect to run Heat anyway in the back, right? Um, yeah. That's tragic. Okay. Well, I've learned recently that I've become a lot worse at this game than I used to be. That or the meta just sucks and I hate it and I'm really bad at it. Anyway, um, I am going to call the video there. So thank you everybody for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all of and stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.